Hello there, my name is Uluwa Dimlade Akinshilo from King Demi Studios located in Los Angeles, California. In our studio, we use Premiere Pro to edit our videos and edit our, all our projects that we offer to our clients. And today I want to take time to show you guys how to operate around Premiere Pro a little bit and do a couple simple effects and edits that I think any, any, anybody that wants to maybe do video editing or do anything related to video one day should know. And if they're looking for a good software to use premiere pro is a good way to go it's only two hundred dollars and you get a lifetime membership you get like weekly updates you get free funds a whole lot of things but i'm gonna show you guys a couple things here uh i'm not gonna waste your time i'm not gonna waste mine either so we're gonna jump straight to it this is i have some clips from when i went to new york the other day and i'm gonna just pick out some clips and just show you guys how to edit it so first and foremost say you have a clip that you have a bunch of clips like this and you're looking for one it's like you have one you want to pick out and start editing with say I want to use this one when I see when I click on when I click on it right here it pops up right here on the source window this is this right here is called it's called the source window right here this is called the source window if I click on anything it pops up right pops up right there anywhere anything you click right here opens up right here first see if I click this clip double click it, it opens up right there double click this opens up right there double click just like that it opens up in the source window and from the source window say I want to copy just the video it says right here drag only drag video only I want to copy just uh, drag just the audio, audio drag just the audio and if I want to copy both clips let's say I click this one I'm gonna go right click go new sequence from clip right here click this and boom we have a new sequence right there this is just a real uh, airplane taking off this is what I'm going to be using to show you guys some edits real quick a quick navigation around Premiere Pro before I keep going effects control tab is where like some of the simple fast effects I'm going to be showing you today is going to occur and it's like very efficient and every effect you pick comes right here to get to the effects menu you go like click on this little tab right here and go to effects and you have a whole bunch of different I have a bunch of presets I use on a regular that I have saved up at this Lumetri that's the coloring there's the audio effect that's for the voice and all that other stuff there's the transitions there's the video effects like to blur sharpen correct color correct distort like a bunch of distort effects I, I use this a lot and also video transitions like this audio transition is a video transition like yeah it's just it's very simple and easy and very entertaining to use actually but I'm gonna show you guys how to cut and how to merge a clip easy and uh, I'll show you how to maybe make a scene look movie like and I'll end this video so if you guys want to see more just tell me in the comments and I'll do more videos like this but basically what I want to do is actually take out the audio of this airplane flying off because nobody wants to listen to just an audio uh, airplane flying off. unless you're trying to download them. I guess you can upload I guess you can upload a clip like this to YouTube and there are people that want to use it in movies and stuff and this is just the airplane taking off basically but I don't want I don't need this uh, audio so I'm going to cut like the first half because that's what I'm going to be using I'm, to take out the audio when it's already in the sequence right here you do all you do is click on the clip command L and boom click on that delete and here we go no audio no more so what I'm gonna do is I have some songs already saved up or some some from free instrumentals that I can use that I downloaded from YouTube that's just a very playful little instrumental I thought was pretty funny so I downloaded it to my computer and I just use it in a couple of my videos once in a while but yeah I just cut off the rest of that audio because I don't need it but here we have this makes it, look, makes it, a little more, makes it more interesting to watch you know, I haven't even done much to it but it makes it interesting to watch uh, say I go right click I'm gonna make this a little faster I'm gonna make the airplane flying off a little faster oh, let me show you what I did I just did it all you do is right click on that go to speed and duration right here I'm gonna move it up to like say 300 it will make it I click this to go back to the beginning I'm gonna drag this out. you know makes it look interesting I'm gonna go ahead and just do this 
when it gets here, I want it to flip and become a, a, a rotate. So I go to uh, the effects and control. This is where you do a lot of fast effect uh, effects and like edit. Like just do that. And Right there, right, and I'm gonna go back and change this back to zero, and that's about it. But I'm gonna show you guys how to make it look movie like. Uh, what you want to do first of all is right click right here in this little box where no, 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 don't do that. What you want to do is right click, go to new item, adjustment layer, okay, drag this adjustment layer to the top. Of whatever you want to make whatever clip you want to make look like a movie and click on this adjustment layer go to your effects tab type in crop take that crop and drag it on here or you can drag it on there directly but it's just drag it on here it's easier what you want to do is go to the top right here in the crop section go to the top 10 so it's going to crop out 10 you're going to see the effects and at the bottom another 10 like this is you guys see a lot of music videos have those black things. That's really how they do it. That's that's the simple simple trick to it right here. And I know some of you are gonna ask why don't I just do the uh, crop effect on the clip directly? Here's why. See, when I'm gonna edit, uh, make it look movie like, what they usually do is the RGB color effect and putting the RGB on the adjustment layer makes it to to the, to wear anything under it like is affected by it. like anything under the adjustment layer takes the effect too so instead of doing it on one two three say I have like multiple million clips I want to make look like a movie I don't want to go one by clip by clip I just use an adjustment layer and it does it on everything so what you want to do basically is just first of all first of all fade the adjustment layer gives it a whole brand new look as the fade effect does a lot makes it out very good go to basic correction like I'm gonna just do a basic like effect for you first of all the temperature you gotta bring that down like movies you un unless you're shooting like a uh, old school movie as when you add a whole lot of grain but you just add a tie I like to add a tiny bit of grain to it makes it look very very good go to the exposure add a little bit of exposure to that you know what I'm saying the, the, sh the, the highlights turn up the highlights a little bit make sure everything's looking sharp and clean and that's looking good. Go to the creative side. Sharp. It's pretty sharp. I don't need to do much. I probably put like a little like five, four point six. That's looking good. Yeah. Add a little tint, shadow tint. Like the blues right here. You usually do a very good job. Drag it, make it a little brighter. Go to the highlight tint. Add a little bit more blue. Or right, actually, let's add a, a tiny bit green. That's that's too much movie light. Yeah. Right here, it's pretty good. So. Any effect I do on the adjustment layer, I apply default right here. That's boom. 